Megan cries in hopeless as Catherine and Monique show evidence about her month-long fling with Haz. US reality star Catherine Omni has revealed details about a month-long fling with Prince Harry in 2006, when the prince was 21 and she was 34 years old, mother of two. The now 51-year-old interior designer spoke to the son ahead of Prince Harry's upcoming memoir, Spam, and it said despite the 13-year age gap, she had the most passionate kiss that I've ever had with the prince. I doubt that he will be in Harry's book as a prince can't run off with a 34-year-old mother of two, as it's just not done the thing she had told the son. She also said that Prince had dreamed of living an ordinary life, as the former real housewife of DC star had shared memories of a night that she made Harry, which included trips to various bars and nightclubs, where she said that she had bantered and joked with Harry, and had laughed that he was spoiled when a nightclub manager had played his favorite song shortly after they arrived. I had started chatting to somebody and Harry took the clothes out of the champagne bucket and had put it over my head. I was a bit upset because it was freezing, I told him. Stop being so needy and that it's not the way to behave. The pair then went back to a friend of the prince's place in Chelsea where he and Harry and I had shared a cigarette on the steps outside and that he really opened up to me. As the former reality star had shared further details of the first night, adding that the pair were mucking around like teenagers and had posed for a photo in the bath together. She also said that the prince had made a great bacon sandwich. We sat in the kitchen chatting for ages and we both had the giggles. He had started playing fighting and I think that we were wrestling on and off for about 15 minutes or so. And when I told him I needed to go home, she said. It was then that he had lifted me by the waist off the floor and had held me against the wall. He gave me the most incredible, passionate kiss that I've ever had in my life. I was absolutely speechless. As according to Omni, the couple continued texting and had caught up a week later in Kingsington. We had another kiss and Harry was very complimentary, telling me how beautiful I was. As we met a few more times, and always in the private bars. But then, when the news of the relationship was made public, Harry had changed his phone number after two more dates, and the pair did not see each other again, until a chance meeting in Barbados in 2009. Harry had pushed past his bodyguards to give me a kiss and a hug, and we had a great conversation, and in hindsight, it is a shame that we couldn't have remained friends. She told the son that she hopes that Megan looks after him, and that she wishes that Harry nothing but happiness and success, as he is a very brave, charismatic, incredibly funny, intelligent, and lovely human being, she had added. Harry's autobiography, Spare, had initially been signed off, ready for an expected autumn release, but its publication was delayed following the Queen's death. While Harry was said that he had requested a number of alterations to be made in less critical of his relatives, it appears the tone of the book had darkened since it was first announced in July 2021. While then the memoir was described as an inspiring, courageous and uplifting human story, today's promotion calls it a personal journey from trauma to healing. Royal author Richard Fitzwilliams had suggested that the royal family would be very concerned by how the book was being promoted. It is a sensual title and implies that the writer was not valued, or certainly that he did not feel at the center of events he had told the Mail Online.